All right. Uh, yeah, Nick, I can hear with South China Morning Post live in Singapore. Uh, Daniel Kelly, uh, can you give us your thoughts on that then? Um, uh, a very interesting uh, contest there, I thought, but uh, how do you react after that? You know, I, uh, I wanted to work some new things. You know, I was feeling out the cage because usually I'm used to just a mad space or like a platform, not an actual like big promotion, just like one championship. You know, I, I wanted to feel around. I wanted to feel like what's around me. And, you know, I, I wanted to work my wrestling. I felt like I got some good inside exchanges. Um, but as the time went on, I noticed that she wasn't gonna give me really anything. So, you know, I pulled guard. I worked a lot of cage stuff. I knew she was gonna try to work me up to the cage because that's what she does. Um, you know, I, I had had a lot of couple submission attempts and ones that were cranking the first time the armbar, her toes, her foot, her knee. Um, yeah, you know, I'm proud of it, but I, I feel like I'm gonna, I should just come for the finish next time. So it is what it is. You surprised by um, the performance that May put in? Uh, were you expecting her to uh, be able to you know fend you off that well? I, I was expecting it. I knew she was gonna be really tough. I feel like a lot of people are stronger than me, but I'm used to it because that's you know I train with a lot of tough people, but I also train with tough girls who push me. Um, you know I just want her to engage with me so I can get the groove going. But hey, like she's super strong and she did a really good job just staying in really tight. And how was the whole experience? I think you mentioned out there in the circle that you want to get used to this media spotlight. Maybe it's been a bit of a new experience for you with all the, the press conferences and things like that and the media here. Um, yeah, just talk a little bit about that. Um, I, I enjoy it. You know, I like, you know, growing up, like I was always competing. You know, I'm not used to all the attention, but, you know, I want to do something positive with it, you know, and that's what inspire, That's what gives me inspiration. So, you know, I hope to inspire others who are in my shoes and just take it one day at a time, you know. Um, hopefully I put on a whole, like a whole better performance and a, my first submission under one championship. Yeah, and when would you like to come back? And have you got any opponents in mind? Um, what is the future for you? Uh, you know, I, I don't back away from anyone. Um, uh, you know, I, I go against every, like a lot of tough girls, my experience, even MMA girls um, in the past. Uh, you know, I, I'll come, probably not next month because I'll be teaching a lot, um, but I hope to come back in the summer. You know, Singapore is really beautiful and everything here was ran really well. Yeah, and could you just sum up your whole experience with everything? Um, you know, it's been a bit of a whirlwind signing with one, and you, you've competed very quickly after that. Uh, you've got a bit of time now to breathe. Are you going to be reflecting on it all? You know, I was. I am not used to, because I'm all in New York, so I'm not used to the 19-hour flight. Um, <laughs> but the ride, like, everything was taken care of. Everything, it was comfortable. You know, I, I just wanted this experience. I needed, it was all new to me. So I think that was a little, like, I was a little hesitant in some exchanges, but... You know everything. Everything was great. Everyone's great here. Um, I would. I would do it again. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Do you have any questions?